in an old version of this game, you used to be able to make chainmail armor with what? Guess what? Fire. <laughs> Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming, coming to you from, uh, this world was my realm and now it's just my lonely world to do videos in. And yeah, guys, today we are going to be doing seven secret removed features. So I'm going to call them secret because honestly, once I started researching, I realized that, you know, I didn't even know about most of these until I started, you know, getting into the hunt. So seven secret removed features. I was going to do a much longer video, but guess what? I'm going to do seven more secret remove features tomorrow. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm going to give you as much a uh, visible rep visual representation of the things I'm talking about as possible. Uh, the wiki is a good source for a lot of this information. And yeah, so for this one here, guys, let's go for 404 likes. I know that's a lot, but it's a Sunday fun day. And yeah, I think I'm going to do the community Q&A later this afternoon as well. So don't be uh, sad if you think it might not be coming out. So let's jump in guys there is no order to this there is even more than i you know I, I was picking all the really good ones and there is a ton so uh yeah no particular order not one of them is like you know this one's number one or this one's number two but rather just of seven so i'm gonna keep running away from these zombies because on the better together update they are ferocious so um let's keep going hopefully my volume isn't too loud i don't think it is i think it'll be just fine uh let's start with number one so guys isometric maps so this is a thing i'm just going to find somewhere safe to go and uh, that way you won't have to hear my footprints anymore um isometric maps was something that came out like right in the beginning of minecraft and they had kind of a special you know developer version uh going on so many footsteps here i'm like scared and uh yeah so they had this basically isometric maps is i'm just going to go into this uh yeah okay <laughs> so basically isometric maps is the view of your world so this is back before you know before minecraft had infinite worlds and the worlds were a little smaller and it was you know much smaller and basically the point of these ice there we go <laughs> iron golems to protect me there we go i'm just gonna stand right next to these dudes don't hit me bro okay so uh yeah isometric mess so i'm gonna throw some sh shots on the screen basically what it was in the olden days is is it was a view of your map from the sun. So as you can see, they're very square. They look much like uh, uh, the Blender. I think it's the Blender app that you're gonna see, that you've seen a fair amount uh, recently when Better Together came up, where you can import and export uh, kind of uh, forms of your map. But yeah, they look super cool. You can see can kind of look under, comes out to a square. And long story short, it is basically a view of your map from the sun. That said, the maps were a lot smaller and it was easier to do, whereas now you probably couldn't do it in the same manner so let's jump on to number two number two is creepy sound effect yeah this is a creepy sound effect so sometime between 1.8 and 1.9 it never really did make it it was uh, released on java edition in one of the snapshots and was kind of pulled and uh, yeah so this would fall under creepy breath noise so basically long story short i'm pretty sure this sound came into play uh when you were underwater holding your breath for a long time and uh when you came up from the water basically what you would hear is this <gasps> noise or whatever so what i'm going to do is play it for you right now i'll turn off the music in the background hopefully and uh, you can hear it let's hear creepy noise right now <sighs> Yeah, super creepy. So, uh, yeah, I think maybe uh, the, the the board of uh, creepy directors said, hey, that's too creepy. Let's not put that on. But it was a breath sound. So, uh, yeah, now you know. And uh, knowing is half the battle. So let's keep going here. Let's go on to the next one. Horse armor. Guys, there was a small time, believe it or not, that horse armor uh, was a thing. Uh, and you could craft it on your own. I think uh, at some point in time they decided that, uh, yeah, let's not do that anymore. Uh, that's not in our best interest and took it away. But as you can see on the screen right here, what we have is uh, what I believe to be uh, the recipe for horse armor. There is uh, some sort of weird, uh, there's some sort of weird mod that has simple, that's why it says shaped crafting. But in the game of Minecraft, this literally was the recipe for horse armor. Uh, and I know that because with some further hunting, we found uh, this right here. And yeah, so long story short, you used to be able to craft horse armor and uh, now you can't so yeah i keep opening all these files and basically if you look up on the screen right here leather horse armor so basically leather horse armor can now be created on bedrock only so you can see the recipe on the screen here it's uh includes uh, five six seven pieces of leather again you could dye this armor you could do whatever and actually 
That said, I'm pretty sure you could die horse armor on console edition 2 once TU60 comes out, and it comes out on the 22nd. So, uh, yeah, horse armor for uh, at least console and bedrock, I believe. Maybe they might be upgrading on Java as well. I'm not totally sure. So, uh, next one is Golden Apple. So, guys, you can get gold. You could used to get golden apples, and they have pulled it. So, unfortunately, right now, guys, golden apples do exist but they exist only on Legacy. So basically the one thing you're gonna be hearing a lot from Minecraft people right now is Legacy Edition, Legacy Edition. So basically this is the same thing that comes into play for video game systems. And you'll notice that something like PS Vita is considered a Legacy system. I would say even more so you could look at something even further back like a PSP would be Legacy. And I'm thinking they're very close if not already there with regards to Xbox 360 and PS3 their legacy as well. Legacy means old and not new anymore. So long story short, the only people that can get enchanted golden apples uh, are on legacy. So that means a console edition right now. And uh, yeah, so I think Wii U will fall under that category as well. And you'll see right here, I'm going to throw this uh, little fancy thing up here. So golden apples, basically, this is how you make them. It involves tons of blocks of gold. And if you played old school Minecraft, like right when console edition started, you know, because you were making these, you were duping your gold, trying to get these golden apples. But now legacy edition console, that's it they don't exist anywhere else but they do you just can't make them yourself so as you can see here they do naturally generate and you could find uh an enchanted golden apple it is possible but look how tiny it is 2.6 percent of devil de desert temple chests so uh i think we're probably looking at four times ten so we're looking at about one in 40 chests in a desert temple we're looking at 22 uh, percent of dungeon chests, 28.2 percent of chest mine carts and abandoned mine shafts all igloo chests oh well i guess igloo chests are gonna have a golden apple or wait that's the top one so let's go back down uh, we went off the wrong stats at 3.1 dungeon chest, 1.4 minecart chest, and in 3.1% of woodland mansion chests, all in stacks of one. So if you want an enchanted golden apple, guys, now, if you're not on Legacy Edition and you can't create one with... Uh, eight golden blocks and an apple uh, then you're gonna have to hope you find one again they're a little bit op and they give you some good stuff i've used them for fighting ender dragons in the past uh but yeah so there you go golden apples enchanted golden apples for that matter super cool and now we have the farlands guys the farlands is uh one of those things that uh, comes from glitchiness in minecraft so basically i'm pretty sure the farlands comes from when they first started experimenting and you know getting those those forever worlds, the infinite worlds, right? Instead of the little worlds that we talked about in the isometric maps, uh, one of the glitches that would happen when going, you know, so far away, like 10 million, 15 million, I don't even know the exact number, but when we go really far away, it would generate these crazy, crazy structures that kind of look like catacombs. So we know these as the Farlands. I have done a video on them before. I have shown you the Farlands before. I think what we'll do is throw a little uh, a little Farlands gameplay in here. Take Check it out. It is kind of a weird generation. It did come from a glitch. And uh, yeah, watch this video. We'll jump on to the next one.
cool. So this is another cool feature. I'm trying not to... Whenever my friends always laugh at me whenever I'm playing Overwatch or anything, if, as soon as I concentrate, I stop moving. I'm like, I have to focus, I have to focus, I stop talking. So the same thing happens with me when I stop talking, I stop moving. But yes, so let's go. Humans, guys, humans was a thing in Minecraft once upon a time. And you can see right here, I'm just doing a little opening. Basically, it has its own wiki page and everything. Humans are a thing, and uh, humans could be spawned basically by pressing G while in classic mode, but it was removed. Uh, basically, humans were mobs once upon a time and acted exactly like zombies. Uh, if you go into it, they would walk around aimlessly, uh, circles jumping, uh, they would fill their arms around, move their head randomly. Humans were affected by solid blocks, uh, but they were able to walk through liquids as if they were air. Uh, if the player had a custom skin, any humans created would still use the default skin for Steve and uh, not assume the look of the player. So basically when they were first added, they would just hop around when spawned, but in later versions they would pursue and kill the player dealing some damage uh, with their fist. Strangely, they did not use punching animation. They would simply run into you like a zombie. So as you can see, this is back in the, you know, the beginnings of the game back when uh, things were simple. And uh, yeah, so human was a mob that looked like you and would kick, heal you and hit you without actually swinging their arms. So yeah, humans. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So chain mail. Guys, this is what I talked about at the start of the video. And what I want to talk about now. So basically, as you know, you cannot get chain, you can't make your own chain mail. You can only find it, you could trade it with villagers and things like that. But back in the olden days, you used to be able to use like a command. There was a command. So long story short, I'm gonna go over this one first. Chain mail can also be obtained through other less legitimate means. It can be made with using fire with cheats. I don't believe you can do this anymore. Uh, I believe that's been to since removed. You can't just give yourself fire. A uh, player can use a command to give fire back in the olden days. And basically, this is the way it kind of looked at that time is right here. And this little pattern right here would be how you would make a chest plate out of chain mail or something like that. And uh, yeah, you used to use fire to make your chain mail. It was a cheat. You can't do it anymore. And uh, yeah, for the win. And there you go, guys. I think we did it. We got all of them. You know what? I think it's super cool. We're not even that far. You know, 10 minutes. I like it, man. We're going to do another one of these tomorrow, guys. You know what I did, too? I took them all together and I mixed them up. So tomorrow has some really cool ones. Some stuff that I never even knew. And yeah, don't forget to smash like before you go don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more uh yeah tutorials cool news updates stuff and yeah thanks a lot for tuning in guys and i'll catch you on the next one